What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, man? I got my brother in here. Let's go. What it is, man? Let's go, Lounge. Make sure y'all go and follow his podcast, man. Let's go, Lounge. They're doing amazingly over there. So yep, yep. he's been on before. But today's topic is pistol brace homicides versus handgun homicides. Mm -hmm. And basically, what we're going to cover is why would the ATF or the government or Joe Biden or whoever you want to claim is responsible, why would they be uh, why would they be going after the pistol braces when they make up for so little of crime and what you call homicide? Why would they be going after the one that's really not responsible for all of this shit and the one that is responsible which is the handgun i mean it's no calls for banning handguns obviously so let's dive into that and you know i know you got some concerns about firearms man your camera is upside down my bad i know i know you got some concerns about that so what um, you thinking about that and how does that make sense to you? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on again, bro. Um, no doubt. I don't really feel like it make no sense because I think I think the situation at hand is uh, the problem that the guns cause. I don't think the problem of possession has ever been a problem. I think the problem has always been what people do with the guns. So if that's the case, then why are they trying to ban? Why is why is the grips? Why is the stop? Why is why are these things the deciding factors for these um, laws? When if homicide is with guns, firearms, or whatever, I don't understand why they're attacking a certain a certain kind and it's not even the gun that they're attacking they're attacking the grip of the gun so well, with that being said, it's not necessarily the grip how many how many how many guns how many people was killed with with with, with guns with pistol grips uh i don't know a specific number but i can tell you that six percent yeah percentage wise of all homicides, only 6% of all homicides are done with, you know, a, fire, a firearm with a brace was used. But 60% of firearms or 60% of homicides are committed with handguns. So I, I see no reason why you know, the pistol brace firearms are what are under attack because the pistol well, brace itself is not bad. I think that, I think that, and this is just me taking a crack at it, right? Um, I'm just making an intelligent guess, right? I would think that the pistol grace, the, the pistol, excuse me, pistol grip allows you to make it. Hold up. Before you go any further, it's the brace the fold out brace, the grip ain't got nothing to do with it. So, so everything, so everything that, so every, so that's what I'm the saying. I don't understand. Yeah. I'm just trying to, at, because I'm not, um, Joe Hyden and, um, I'm not, uh, you know, these other people that made these, these laws. So, um, I really don't know why, cause a brace has nothing to do with what is discharged. Now, Absolutely. it has something to do with the accuracy of it being discharged, though. Absolutely. And that so, is one of their arguments. Yeah, but you gotta, you're allowing regular citizens out here to have military-grade... No, fly. see? Let me stop you. And military-grade is fully AR is automatic. Not military. AR is not... No, you'll get your ass dusted in a war with the shit that they allow us to have. That oh, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. 
one pull of the trigger, you get one round. Round out of it, yeah. Where the military grade, it is, you don't have to do nothing but put your finger down one time and you can let the whole clip go. So mm -hmm. that's also a misconception that people think that um, civilian ARs are military grade. They're nowhere near military grade and they don't do the damage that military weapons do. So but, but I think that but when you but when you start adding in the fact that you got a uh 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 223 or 562 coming out of civilian gun, that's heavy. Uh actually a 556 five, and 223 is not that much bigger than a 22. I know. It's not that it's Actually, a two two three. <laughs> Shit. Listen, a two two three is twenty two point three. Right. So, or or two two three. It's still a twenty two. It's 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 about the same size. It's not. If you put a twenty two next to a two two three, it's gonna make the same, pretty much the same size hole. If so we talk about we talk about twenty two LR, correct? Yes. Okay. So it ain't. Yeah, I can uh, see them uh, being uh, down there the same size. Yeah. So the misconception is that you know they're military grade weapons, and they're not. They're nowhere near military grade weapons. Not even close. I um I. If you they look, look at like it. military weapons, but hell know, yeah, man! Listen, the damage so, they do is nowhere close to a military grade weapon. So, so, so the bullpup design doesn't make a lot of these guns military grade guns. No, that 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 does not make it military grade. It's hard That's to just actually. Um, you mean a bullpup design? That's not, no, that's that's nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with military. I mean, I'm not saying they don't have military grade guns that are bullpups. I'm just saying that it's basically, a, a, it's a design. Hmm. But I guess I guess we get caught up on the looks then. For you yeah, know what I mean? They're, they're not military grade guns. A uh, AR. It looks it's not a military like, grade gun. No, it's not. Not the civilian okay. ones that no. Wow. And the reason <laughs> why is because so the selector switch, right? That's how you change the function of the gun. You got burst fire, you have um what they call select fire, which is full auto. Mm -hmm. And then you have semi automatic, which is what we get. That's the weakest shit on that dial. The rest of that stuff is is not military grade. You know what I'm saying? So even when you hear the government people on TV lying and saying shit like these are military style weapons and military grade weapons and military this and military that, or these are weapons of war. That's what they'll say. Weapons of war. That shit, man, you take that shit in the war. They're going to heat your ass up so fast. You know what I'm saying? Because those guns that they're using is straight full auto. So, 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 are you, let me, let me, let me just make sure I understand you right. So what you're telling me is the only thing that's different between an AR that's made for a civilian and an AR that's made, what would be considered military grade is the fact that they are automatic or fully automatic or semi-automatic. I think that makes a big difference. So I think that the politicians, right? Yes. Are no longer seeing a need for regular people to have certain kinds of things in their hands. And I, and I don't agree, right? But That's bullshit. Yeah. So I got to take the show on the road because I'm on my way back to work. But what I'm saying is this. The reason that it was written in the Constitution for people to have 
weapons and guns. That's funny. The Constitution, absolutely. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ain't no but, question. But real shit, though. Listen. <laughs> Ain't no question. If we go on by the Constitution, right? You got the right to bear arms. Yeah. And not just the right to bear arms, but they, you know, like it ain't say, hey, y'all can have slingshots, but y'all can't have real guns. Or y'all can have pistols, but y'all can't have AKs. You know, and the fact of the matter is they make AK pistols, which is a handgun. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, how far does the rabbit hole go when it comes to what they saying you can carry? And not not only that, don't tell me what I can protect my shit with. You got Secret Service walking around with you and everybody toned up, you know what I'm saying? So why do I have to, you know, tread lightly on what I'm going to carry to save my family and my life? Especially, you know, especially when it's no good. Especially when all we're talking about is a brace. Exactly. You know what so I'm if you put a regular stock no. on it, it's, it's fine? No. <laughs> if you put a regular stock on it, that's illegal. You know what I'm saying? So a stock is not permitted on a pistol. A brace was permitted on a pistol because it's not a stock. But the real, the real gank move is this. People had them for 14, 15 years. You know what I'm saying? They've been and they telling people they got to take them They got to get rid of the gun no. all together. They telling people that if you don't comply, you are a felon. Oh, <laughs> right. <my. laughs> yeah. So, no, nah, they're not just telling you, hey, um, you got to throw that away. So that's, that's why I learned that the Constitution. Right. That's exactly why. <laughs> yeah, we got to get down to the nitty gritty of this shit. We can't just sit around and act like like people had these things. How about this? Let, let's get to this part. It's people who bought guns as novelty. Like, let's, I seen on a YouTube video where a couple, they was in Serbia and they was passing through. They went to the Zastava plant where they make all their stuff or the factory and they brought two AKs. Both of them had that were equipped with braces, right? These people like probably almost 70 years old. Mm -hmm. they, they bought a his and her. I guarantee you, they don't know that this is going on right now. So it's people that I know that got braces like, I ain't gonna say no name, but you know them too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I talk to them, he don't have a clue about what's going on. So I'd be like, yo, that's why I send you the videos so that you could be up on game on what's actually going on. Because I know you, you know what I'm saying? You in the same predicament. Man, people oh, he don't, he don't even know that. Everybody not on YouTube, dog. Oh, yeah, so you they know don't know even know and shit. People not on YouTube. People don't know that this is even going on. They have no idea. And there's people that got... I'm talking about it's people that have bunkers full of shit and, got, and they don't know. Yeah. So it's it's a very slippery slope, you know, and I'd encourage everybody that's watching this shit right now, if it's, if you know somebody that has a firearm that's classified as what is now known as an illegal FBI, then you need to let you need to let them know. You know what I'm saying? You're doing them a favor, doing yourself a favor. It's, if you're a gun owner and you're gonna sit around and watch them bully people with uh, pistol braces, you think they ain't coming to bully your ass next? Yeah, they yeah. are. They yeah. are. I'm sure. So it ain't gonna stop at no damn pistol braces, just like it didn't stop at bump stops. Because so, that's so, the first thing that we let get by. And because a lot of people didn't have them, I didn't know what the hell a bump stock was. You know oh, yeah. That? Oh, yeah. That, I mean, so they banned them, right? They tried to, but they're they're not banned as of now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a lot of back and forth. It's been overturned. It's been reinstated, overturned again. So 
Yeah, man. It's a lot of shit going on. And you would assume that when a law changes, that a vote has to happen. I know that was my thoughts when I first got into firearms. I thought that, I'm like, man, they can't change the laws without it being a vote. And I argued some people down about, you know, how they change the laws. Shit. Left son. And so, at the end of the day, I was wrong. They can just change that shit whenever they want to. And it's basically called rule change. It's called rule change, you know what I'm saying? Where they don't change the law, they change the rule, or change the classification. So let's just say today, they don't mind you owning a vacuum cleaner, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just using this as an example. Yeah. But in a couple of weeks, or a couple of days or a year or so, the ATF decide, man, we don't want them having vacuum cleaners no goddamn more. So we, we're saying that vacuum cleaners are now need to be registered under the NFA. You got to pay $200, blah, 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 blah. And anybody who got a vacuum cleaner is now a felon. And we're going to give y'all 120 days to register them joints. And if y'all don't register them shits, and we find y'all with them, you a felon. And you getting a felony charge. How that like, a felon, like a felon with a gun. Like a felon with a gun, a felon with a, you know what I'm saying? A whole gang of. Man, listen. Look here, bro. What I don't, I don't think that they gonna stop with just no braces. To be honest, um, I really think it's gonna be a whole lot of stuff coming down. But the crazy thing about it is, um, the higher ups probably don't even change for the law. They probably still got whatever they got. Um, I, I can't imagine that a pistol brace will cause this much confusion. But if they're willing to go that far to take that kind of stuff away from people, what's next is the question. Exactly. No, what they gonna- if, they, if they could, and if 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 if, if we the people let it go that damn far. They're going to take every goddamn thing. In my oh, opinion. yeah. It won't be a gun, it won't be a gun in a civilian's head. You know, huh? Like, they just did that shit in Canada, dog. Not bad, people. They just did that in Canada. They just did this in Canada. Did what? Like, guns, right? Took their guns. They don't have no guns in Canada no more. They took all that shit. Well, I mean, you know, they can't try that shit in Baltimore. You can't do that in Baltimore, dog. I think it's too much of a... I don't know, man. Nah, you... I mean... But yeah, long story short, man. Yeah, they they took they took the guns in Canada. They took the gun. We one of the only places in the world that still got civilians with guns. You know, if I'm not mistaken, name me the country. You know, somebody that's that's watching in the comments, man. What other countries have civilians with guns? Because I'm not sure. It ain't that many though. It's definitely not that many. And I gotta get my man back in there, back on the broadcast. I don't know what just happened, but uh, yeah, it's it's really real. Like somebody gotta explain to me why, if pistol braces only account for six percent of homicides. Why are they so worried about them? What are people doing with pistol braces that make them so bad that they want nobody to be able to have them? You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense at all. Why the hell I get the chat up? 
But yeah, it definitely don't make no sense. But it makes a lot of sense if you know that it makes sense. That's the only way it makes sense. Shit, I'm late for my next appointment, but I had to get this message out. And as well, you know, just like my guest had no idea that, yeah, if you, if you have this in your possession and you're a felon, that ain't no good. Young blood was happening. That's my man right there. But yeah, I'm really, really, really tired of talking about this shit. Man. I was going to make a post uh, like last week and say, man, listen, this is my last video about pistol breakers, but that shit is still developing. There's still a lot, a lot of shit going on and you know what I'm saying? People are uh, uh, that the ATF has gone to a couple people's houses and shit. Like they've been, it ain't just quiet around here. They probably starting in a different part of the country. And they bringing that shit right on around the, around the horn. And who the fuck knows, they might come knocking at your door. If you got a pistol brace, if you got a, a, a firearm equipped with a pistol brace, you know, first thing I did was took that shit off and destroyed it. You know what I'm saying? Just like they said, dude. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we went through the whole FPC shit. We went through the whole, um, you know, the, Preliminary injunctions. I done learned so much shit about court. What up, my fly family? What's going on, man? And I done learned so much shit. Yo, if you want to come on, man, and, and, and chop it up with me, you, you, you more than welcome. But uh, I done learned so much about, you know, meanings of court documentations and I'm, I'm kind of tired of that shit, man. I really am. I'm tired of that shit. I'm like, I would, I'd rather them just say, look, it's going to be this or it's going to be that. But every couple of days to be getting, um, you know, updates. And then all this shit just for Joe Biden to say, oh, if it make it to my desk, I'm going to veto that shit in anyway. I feel like, damn. Is there a win for this shit? I don't know. I don't even know if it's a way to actually win this shit. Because uh, when I'm looking at these numbers, and I don't know if they brought the numbers up or not, but that right there in court should make a damn difference to some of these judges that what are, what is, yeah, they classifying it as some shit that they don't want us to have, but what is the reason for that? I don't see a clear reason, and I don't think there is a clear reason other than they trying to take all that shit, you know? Like, it almost sounds cliche, but let's just say we had to go another four years. Let's just say some kind of crazy way Joe Biden got reelected because I ain't even thought about no shit like that because I don't think he can get reelected um yeah I think he's done as far as the White House go but who knows let's just say that Biden end up back in the fucking White House you know what I'm saying that's gonna be man I think that would be worse than goddamn eight years of Trump. Way worse, in my opinion. I think this four years has been way worse. You know, it was some things back then that was going on. But right now, it's a lot of bullshit going on, man. In my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, my last video, I don't know if any of y'all seen it, but I said, congressman and he always dropping and making plenty of sense 
when he talk, I don't know his damn name. I need to get his name because it's the second time I put him in one of my videos and I cannot recall his name. It really ain't important what his name is. However, he be saying some on on point, you know, things and I like his delivery as, as far as what he's talking about and the, and the facts that he is dropping, you know, what what is the point? And the only point could be that they don't want us to have nothing close to what the hell they got, even though civilian ARs and civilian AKs is not close to what they have, you know what I'm saying? Based on the functions that, that the guns actually do. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. I know it's a lot of court dates and shit coming up, but I'm pretty much done talking about that shit. But I'm sure in a week or so, you know, being a YouTuber, if it's something important to talk about, then I feel the duty to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my spill for the goddamn day. I don't know what happened to my guest because I ain't seen him. He ain't, he ain't in the studio. So, yeah, man, that's going to be my spill about the pistol brace thing. But I feel like those numbers right there prove that it's either a money grab or just some fucking bullying or, or whatever the case may be. I keep on forgetting I can't curse on here, but either way, um, hit the like button, man. Hit the like button, spread the word. And uh, I'm sure somebody need to hear this shit. But uh, I'm out, man. And I'll be doing more lives more frequently. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.